Join we three in 3D for oh, children, children in need. need. Oh. Welcome, everyone, to the Hoobians. It's a short cast for a short episode, a special episode with Dimensions in Time. It was made as a 30th anniversary tribute to Doctor Who. It had all the doctors in it, all the ones that were alive, including Tom Baker. It was 3D, but it was short. It was about 12 minutes maybe a, a minute or two longer. The doctor's arch rival, the, the Rani, has landed him in Albert Square, and she's back pushing right him backwards and forwards in time. Well, the, uh, the doctor's characters change, the incarnations, and the East Enders get older and younger as the story progresses. Madam, what year is this? 2013! And that's as far as I'm going to go. I'm not going to tell you any more. What did uh, we think about it? Oh. oh. Good luck, my dears. Let's go to Lady Neo. I liked it. It was good. The plot was a bit mediocre, but um, the nostalgia really was a factor. It was nothing but nostalgia. I love seeing all the creatures again from episodes I know. Seeing all the, the companions, how they look older, and the Ronnie and the Doctor. And I think it was connected to um, East Enders, but I've never really seen East Enders, so I really didn't know about it. But from a Doctor Who standpoint, I really liked it. Um, as I said before, East English standpoint, I really don't know. But I would give it a rating of um, a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you. 7.5. Spinning the globe and over to England, where Doctor Who is from. Craig, what did you feel about Dimensions in Time? Uh, for me, this episode was complete magic. Uh, like I just remember it so well. Uh, I recorded it on... VHS at the time and I remember all the even before the episode started I remember when John Pertwee came into the Noel's house party and presented it and then the viewers had a vote whether they wanted Mandy or Big Ron of the second part because now we've got a great opportunity for you to influence the outcome of Doctor Who's adventure if you think that Mandy should be helping the doctor there's one phone number or if you think it's Big Ron it's the other so for Mandy it's 0891 11 4455 but if you think it ought to be Big Ron it's 0891 11 4466 and when you make your call you'll be invited to make a pledge for children in need. So you'll not just be helping the doctors, but you'll actually be helping children everywhere. So remember, tomorrow night, 6.45, on the house party, you can find out what the outcome of your voting is. And in the episode, it was Mandy who saved the day. Where do I start? My, only, my, gripe, my first gripe is the, the drum and bass theme on the theme tune. I wasn't too keen on uh, it being sped up that fast. Uh, kind of like uh, Sylvester McCoy's theme tune for that off. I love Tom Baker's costume on the first uh, sequence. I was missing the scarf. I would have preferred his classic scarf than the red scarf, but um, it was just brilliant. The Cutty Sark scenes with Ace and Sylvester McCoy, seeing Colin Baker with, with Ace. Hey, you're not the Doctor. Yes, I am, Ace. We seem to have slipped a groove in time. That the whole mix up of all doctors and companions was just brilliant. It was just, it was a treat, man. It was a treat. The Rani was just fantastic as ever. She, this was her, I think it was her best performance as the Rani. Oh, Doctor. I'm going to miss you so little. She was just amazing. Uh, I, I love the one liners uh, when she says, um, Pickled in a jar like Gherk Pickled in time like Gherkins in a jar. It's just brilliant. Uh, I liked how EastEnders was mixed in as well. So I love the bit with Pat Butcher and the Cybermen coming towards her. And she's like, are you messing me about with? It's just brilliant. It's classic Pat. 
and there's a scene where in the garage there's I think with the two Mitchell brothers when they say oh what are you doing in here and, and they say and then the assistant says oh I'm looking for the doctor if that's any of your business and then they say oh he lives at number one Albert Square Dr. Leg <laughs> then she says Dr. Who it's just brilliant and in, in the sequence before that you can actually see Ian Bill walk past and he's a classic EastEnders. He's one of the longest serving EastEnders cast members still in EastEnders. So little things like that, were sh it was just brilliant. Um, yeah. And even K-9 was in it. I mean, K-9, the Brigadier, the Sixth Doctor. Brilliant, man. I'm going to give it a 10. Oh, great. A 10. <laughs> a 10 from England. Now back over here to the United States, the Brigadier. Susan, what did you think? I was totally amazed by the, I saw it midway through my 50 year uh, rewatch or, 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 or actually it was my, my first watch of the 50 year run of Doctor Who in uh, 2012 and 13. And somewhere in the middle of that, I, I watched Dimensions in Time. And I, I was thinking, oh, this is, uh, since it's so short it's not going to have any substance but i mean like the the scenes were so short that you know it was you were able it, the the writer was able to create like the a, a whole story arc in within like these you know very modern uh you know current uh, like the way current shows are done all these super short cuts and these sh super short scenes and and, and powerful one-liners, it's uh, short, concise, and to the point. I mean, it was like they, they got, they, uh, he or they got the, the, the ideas across and, the, and, the, and the, the action and the story to move very quickly. I mean, it was very quickly. And um, I love, I love the, the fact that the Brigadier was in it. I, I, you know, my, my one cry over over new who is that he was never in it and 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 he's properly brilliant also the brigadier is is such an integral part part of john pertwee's and and uh you know he 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 formed a uh, a foil for the doctor the second doctor the third doctor and the fourth doctor in 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 so many different ways and and the fifth doctor i i, I take that back in the fifth doctor too in modern undead you know, and and then and then there wasn't he wasn't in anything until until Battlefield, and then and so this brought him together with the Sixth Doctor, and the Sixth Doctor was finally able to meet in the context of the story, and so it you know I, I call it canon because you know for for so many reasons the like he he's integral to the 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 story development of every single Doctor. Uh, it, it, and every sing and and the whole story of the doctor, you know, of the the Time Lord from Gallifrey. He's not he's not missing from any of their of any of their lives, and so that's fun. And then um, I really enjoyed I really enjoyed like how uh, how they did the companion swap. It was like this week on companion swap, and then the, and, and each companion was with a different doctor. I love how Susan was was uh, standing by the old Vic with 60 and like that was sweet i mean i getting to inter interact with with the sixth doctor was also good the sixth doctor got all the good the good companions for for this story in in my humble opinion <laughs> and uh and sylvester mccoy properly cool and and sophie aldred was was dy dynamic and stuff and i'm i'm really i'm really glad to have watched it again and and so that was fun i'll give it a Nine, nine point five. I'll give it a nine point five out of ten. Thank you. Nine point five. Well, it's back to me. I watched this back in nineteen ninety three, ninety four for the first time. I don't remember how. We didn't have the internet back then, so it must have been a local PBS station. It was uh, done at, in part for charity, children in need. No one got paid. None of the actors, uh, the, the camera crew, the director, no one got paid. They all volunteered their time with the agreement that it would never be released on video. 
which is why you can't find it on video or DVD. You can't find the whole thing on YouTube. They all volunteered their time. Doctor Who went on hiatus in 1989. And I remember watching this back then. This Doctor Who was back. And Tom Baker was in it. He was not in the five doctors. He was in it. Now, there is a drawback, and that's the 3D. The 3D effects behind Tom Baker, if you're watching it with the 3D glasses or even without the 3D glasses, you may get the urge to vomit. Um, that is the, uh, just that one scene, actually, the, is the, the drawback. If you pay attention to the dialogue, it actually makes sense. And you find out that the doctor has memories of his future incarnations. That's never been done before or since. But if you realize that, that the doctor can remember things from his future incarnations, then the plot makes sense. I thought until recently that I was the only one on the planet that liked this. It, a lot of people do not like this. It was voted in Outpost Gallifrey as number eight worst episode of Doctor Who. But uh, I enjoyed it. Like I said, we did not have Doctor Who. The last thing we saw was 1989. Sylvester McCoy's Doctor and Ace walking off into the sunset. And now they were back together. All the Doctors, it was like they uh, never forgot how to play their characters. All the Doctors. Seeing Pertwee back in action again. Dorani, this was her last time on television as Durrani. She did appear one more time in a big finished production, but this was her last time televised as Durrani. She was excellent in it. As Craig said, the one-liners are terrific. And he did it all in 12 minutes. So that alone, alone is fantastic. If you, and pay attention to the dialogue, and the plot does make sense. The 3D does have a drawback. You make me want to puke my guts out. <laughs> So uh, I'd have to give it, just because of that one little flaw, I'd have to give it a nine. Does anyone else have anything they want to say about Dimensions in Time before we conclude? In the, in the beginning, where Ace and the Seventh Doctor were coming out of the TARDIS, mm -hmm. that keg, it, I think it said ginger beer, right? I think so. Sweet. <laughs> so I did like that in 2013. Um, they had a monolith running through, I guess, the East End. <laughs> they had a monolith running. Mm -hmm. And uh, as an American, I knew nothing about East Enders. Nothing at all. But mm -hmm. I did watch Are You Being Served? And the girl from uh, Are You Being Served was there, so she must be, or must have been, a character in East Enders. I know uh, she passed away uh, several years ago. And the weird thing is, in Dimensions in Time, Kathy Beale is on the market and saying, oh, I see flares have come back in fashion with Bonnie Langford. And they're now both working together in EastEnders now. So it's, it's pretty cool. Now, uh, I knew nothing about EastEnders, but you don't need to know anything about EastEnders to enjoy this. Knowing nothing about EastEnders, I figured they would vote for the girl simply because the girl looks better than the guy. And they did vote for the girl. <laughs> I, I like the scene when they go f with all the monsters and you can see Fifi from Happiness <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> and Sil was on the bin as well. I saw Sil. That was him? Yeah. yeah. You can watch it on YouTube. If you uh, don't have 3D glasses, you don't need them uh, to watch it. And if you do have 3D glasses... Uh, like I said, the Tom Baker thing is probably going to make you sick. But other than that, I'm I'm really I'm really thrilled that that uh, the early companions were were as represented as the as the sixth, seventh, and eighth, uh, or the the sorry, the fifth, sixth, and seventh Doctors companions. So that was that was cool too. Uh, this 3D 12 minute plus anniversary special, I think, is better than the 3D. 50th anniversary special that we ended up getting. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if 
you agree or disagree, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> All right, thank you for tuning in and watching our reaction to Dimension in Time. Like I said, I was surprised. I thought I was the only one on the planet who liked it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, keep on hooing, everyone.